Following dengue virus infection, there is activation of T cells, production of various chemical mediators, increased vascular, vascular permeability and clinical manifestations of leak. Simultaneously, there is production of antibodies, antigen antibody reaction, deposition on vessels and clinical manifestations of coagulopathy. Both of these will lead to shock, pleural effusion, ascites, bleeding and organ involvement. So, the essential, feature, uh, the essential features which cause problem here are the shock and the bleed. Before no, uh, going to the management, we need to know the course of the dengue illness, which is very important. Dengue fever has three phases, the febrile phase, critical phase and the recovery phase. During the febrile phase, the child may have fever, vomiting, pain abdomen, myalgia, arthralgia, retroorbital pain. The clinical issues during this period are because of poor intake, the child may be prone for dehydration. Laboratory tests uh, during this phase may reveal leukopenia and NS1 antigen may be positive. Following the febrile phase, the critical phase starts usually on the between 3 to 5 days of fever or it may start as late as even 7 days of fever. The critical phase lasts about 48 to 72 hours. During the critical phase, the child uh, develops uh, uh, shock or bleeding or organ involvement and uh, it is heralded by the dropping of the platelet count and rising of hematocrit. And lab features show there is a uh, IgM melissa will be positive during this phase. Following the critical phase, the uh, child moves on into the recovery phase. During the recovery phase, whatever leak has occurred into the third space will get reabsorbed into the uh, vascular compartment which will lead to fluid overload and the platelet will rise and the hematocrit will fall. There will be a rising titer of IgG antibodies during this phase. Dengue virus infection can be asymptomatic or symptomatic. Symptomatic infections include mild dengue which should be managed at home, moderate dengue which requires close monitoring and probable hospitalization and severe dengue which has to be managed at a tertiary level care center.